So obviously one of the key characteristics of this process is that it's very gentle. What happens when you're blasting is the water is gonna create a cushion on the surface of this part. So the abrasive is not hardly impacting it, it's scrubbing the surface and skidding off. So whereas with the dry blast process, you may be cleaning a little bit more by impact, with this process you're cleaning by flow. So it's not getting embedded in the surface, not changing tolerances, you're not dealing with all of the different risks and factors that you deal with maybe in a dry blast process where you could not blast this part because it will tear it up very easily. So as far as the differences between like more of a plastic and more of a metal you are going to see that this is a little bit it's a little bit less shiny with uh this piece and the glass bead that we blasted it's just going to get it back to how the plastic looked originally which is what it does for the metal but it does give kind of an enhancement or a polish to the metal that it does not for the plastic same thing goes for over here aluminum oxide will provide more of a matte finish which is exactly what it did on this part um, that we blasted in the aluminum oxide provided more of a matte finish it's just not going to have that you know super shine if you blast it in a glass bead uh, but it will get it back to how it was looking before when it was new